research problem and its question must clarify by these following objectives. First, whether the research entails the discovery of product, ideas, and insight. Next, whether the research defines opinion, attitude, or behavior held by a group of people on a given subject or records of an experiment. Last, whether the research identifies a cause, an effect, relationship between variables. Remember, for you to easily identify the research problem or your statement of the problem, your research project should be smart, means specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-related. According to Alvinson and Sandberg 2013, a research problem is the main organizing concept directing the analysis of your research. It gives you a place to express yourself and represent three things. First, the primary topic of academic communication. Second, the method by which you arrive at various discussion topics. And last, to discover of new knowledge and understanding. The purpose of the problem statement is to introduce the reader to the significance of the issues being investigated. So the reader is introduced to the relevance of the study and the research issues or the hypothesis that will be addressed. Formulating your research problems enables you to make a purpose of your study clear to yourself and target readers. It also enables you to focus on your paper on providing relevant data and literature to address it. A problem statement is also an effective and essential tool to keep you on track with research and evaluate it. A research problem conveys a sense of emerging design by stating the purpose of the study, whether to describe, understand, develop, or discover something. It also conveys a central idea that you want to describe or understand or develop. The method by which you plan to collect and analyze data. It also conveys a unit of analysis and research site principle this is the common format or script for a statement of the problem so formulating questions with facts to be gathered in mind so respond the question and re-ask if you plan to answer those not correspond to the question the exact form of your questions will depend on the length of your project depends on the type of research on the topic and the research problem but all research questions should be focused specific appropriately complex and relevant to social or scholarly use issues Let's take a look in greater details at the typical format you can use when preparing quantitative research questions. Descriptive research question simply aims to describe the variables you are measuring. When we use the word describe, we mean that this research question aims to quantify the variables that we are interested in. Common descriptive questions will begin with how much, how regularly, what percentage, what time, what is. Primarily, descriptive research questions will be used to quantify a single variable 
but there's nothing stopping you to covering multiple variables within single questions. Example. Variable is the factors influencing career choice. Variable that being described is attention span. The variable that being investigated is the nutrients from malungay and spinach. The variable is the daily calories intake. Comparative questions are designed to help you identify clear differences between two or more groups based on one or more variables. Comparative research question typically start by asking, what is the difference in? Example, the variable time management. So the comparative elements that being compared is the senior high school grade 11 and senior high school grade 12. The variable being compared is the attitude in online banking by the comparative elements of millennial adults and the older people. The variable being compared is the effectivity and the comparative element is biopesticide versus the synthetic pesticide. The variable being compared is the order cleaning agent, and effectiveness of banana filling dishwashing liquid versus commercial dishwashing liquid. Another example is an experimental research like is there a significant difference between the pre-test and post-test scores of students in summative tests before and after the exposure to peer tutoring. The independent variable is peer tutoring. Dependent variable is scores and summative tests. Then the comparative element is the pre test scores and the post test scores. Another example What is the effect of temperature on the preservation of dehydrated soup mixture on the shelf life of the soup? The independent variables is the hydration of the food product or the temperature. The dependent variable is the freshness of food or shelf life. The comparative elements is either low temperature, high temperature, or room temperature. Our relationship research questions are for quantitative research study that designed to look at the relationship between two or more variables. The term relationship is used more to describe an association or trend between two or more variables within one or more demographic group. Relationship research questions typically start with what is the relationship, then followed by the words between or amongst. Example, identifying relationship between exam scores and study time. Association between gender and a level of exam result. Sexual orientation or gender identity to homelessness. Association between social status and mental health. This is an example of correlational research. 
So the variable 1 is the study time and then the variable 2 is the exam scores in mathematics. As you can see, in the specific question number 1 and number 2, it aims to describe the two variable. And then in specific question number 3, it's an example of relationship research questions wherein it's identify a significant relationship between the variable state at the study time and exam scores. Sample 2, an example of descriptive research. Specific question number 1 and 2 are both descriptive research questions, while specific question number 3 is an example of comparative research questions, wherein the comparative elements is new packaging and the normal packaging. Sample number 3 is an example of experimental types of research that aims to develop a high-quality substitute for commercial dishwashing liquid from banana peelings. Number one is an example of descriptive research questions. Specific question number two is also in the form of descriptive research questions. Then for specific question number three is a comparative research questions wherein compare the banana peeling dishwashing liquid versus the commercial dishwashing liquid in terms of their other cleaning agent and its effectiveness. Your problem question must be testable via experimentation. The question should arise from your observation as anything that caught your interest or raised your curiosity. What particularly do you hope to discover? Or what exactly the what if questions? Likewise, it can be in the form of what is the effect of blank on blank? So you should be able to express the research question in a single sentence, especially for science research. In fact, you keep your entire research project as simple as possible. Remember to keep your experiment simple as you keep all the other conditions constant while modifying only one thing or part of it. So in that way, the one that you are adjusting or modifying is what's causing the difference in your observations. So the criteria for testable question is first, use something from your what I will change group. Next, use something from your what I will measure group. And then a broad question that is something to investigate. Let's try putting words in these blanks. What is the effect of detergent on germination of seed? To summarize, all research questions should be focused on a single problem or issue, researchable using primary and or secondary resources, feasible to answer within the time frame and practical constraint, specific enough to answer, complex enough to develop the answer over the space of a paper or a research project, relevant to your field of study or your strength. I hope you learned something new from this video. Again, this is Miss Hazel. Happy learning, everyone. Annyeong!